Oh, this is upside down. That was anticlimactic. I was going to have like a big art supply delivery day reveal. And you put the paint upside down. Are you recording? Yeah. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Whoosh. And paper. Hey, art geeks. Sorry I've been a little inconsistent with the uploading. Um, having a series of technical difficulties. But look, I finally picked up those Gansai paints that I've been talking about. Um... If it sounds like I'm outside and the wind's blowing, it's because I'm outside and the wind is blowing. So, quick little process video for you today. No adventure video this week because Mother Nature is confused and it's been snowing and freezing here. And uh, I'm just old and lazy and don't feel like hiking in the cold lately. So, swatching out the Kurataki Gansai Tambe. This is the 36 set. And then at the bottom, I'm going to swatch out my starry color set because I couldn't remember if I'd ever swatched that yet or not. So I just decided to swatch all my Gansai paints together. I got to say, I am like in love. This is love at first swatch totally for me. I really like this turquoise green deep. That is really pretty. Okay, so like I was saying, these paints are flipping amazing. A lot of people have been asking me, like friends of mine have been asking how they compare to watercolor and gouache. My personal opinion is they're somewhere right in the middle. They're opaque, um, but they're not layerable, and you can water them down to get a watercolor-like transparency. I, I don't know. I don't know why I've never tried these before, but I love them. They're not Western watercolors. You can't use them the same. And if you saw on Instagram, I was doing some color studies of the skull that I'm going to be painting because they're completely unlike watercolor. It's a, really a different approach to painting that I had to develop with this while I was working on it. But I really, in a lot of ways, felt like I got to paint the way I always want watercolors to paint like. My only complaint is that uh, I wanted them when I when I was putting them into water like a bloom, I wanted them to react like core paints do. And they don't have that dispersion. Nobody has that dispersion other than core because that's what core does best. So I don't know. I've used the shiny starry color Gansai with Western watercolors before and the results are kind of mad just because it's a different binder, it's a different type of paint, so they don't always necessarily mix together the greatest, but I could see some overlap with like the really high dispersion watercolors when I need that. Also, I feel like the Gansai would go on top of staining watercolors specifically really well because the Gansai is not staining at all. It lifts really, really, really easily, which in some ways is great for fixing your mistakes and in other ways is terrible because you can't layer at all. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let you jam out to the music while I finish drawing this bog witch and then painting her. I will see you at the end.
there she is, my little bog witch. I am ridiculously happy with how she came out. I can't wait to get my hands on a good camera so I can get some high-res pictures of her to share, even though I did post what my S5 can take on social media already. Um, I'm not going to tell you to like or subscribe or any of that because I don't tell you how to run your life. I hope everybody is safe and healthy, and I will see you next week. Don't forget to go art something today. Bye.